Okay, so we're gonna be talking about counter strain for the hamstrings, and we're gonna specifically talk right now about the lateral hamstring. So when we're talking counter strain, we're talking about tender points, usually related to uh, muscles or other structures that are attached to muscles like ligaments, tendons, things like that. Uh, in order to know or anticipate where those tender points are gonna be, we need to know uh, the structure of that muscle, where it originates and where it inserts. In terms of our hamstring, we're thinking about its connection points at uh, the ischial tuberosity and then distally at the lateral condyle, lateral collateral ligament, um, fibular head area. And that's where, expect, that's where we're expecting to find our, our tendons. So our two tender points naturally would be at its insertion point near the fibular head. We could ask our patient if it's tender there. Is it tender there? Yes. Great. And uh, if we're unsure, if we're on the right tendon or ligament, we could also have our patient flex against resistance. Go ahead. So we can confirm that we're on that lateral, um, uh, lateral hamstring. Go ahead and relax. Good. So here we know this is near the distal end of that hamstring. We could also track up that hamstring. Go ahead and flex a little bit more. Track up that hamstring into where we would think the muscle belly might be. Any tenderness in there? Relax. A little bit. Okay, a little bit there. It's more tender at the distal end. So once we've established our tender point, and remember, our tender point is tender because it is tender to normal stimulation. If I was to push somewhere else using the same amount of force, it would not be tender. So now I'm just going to maintain that light touch, which is causing the tenderness, and I'm going to establish, first step, counter strain, establish an objective pain scale for the patient to now measure against the rest of the treatment. And this place, uh, this spot right here is tender? Yes. Okay. So we're going to call this a 10. I'm going to be moving you around, try to relax as much as possible, and we're going to check in on that pain again, okay? Okay. All right, so now I'm going to maintain my, my pressure, light pressure on that, uh, that point. I'm going to flex the knee and remind my patient not to help. I'm going to flex the knee and externally rotate the tibia and abduct the ankle. Now that I've reached this expected treatment position, I'm gonna ask my patient to compare the tenderness um, to its original established scale. So, so what would you say this pain is now compared to the original 10 we, 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 we talked about? Um, a zero. A zero. So if it wasn't a zero, I would further enhance the motion by either adding additional flexion, abduction, or external rotation. But since we're at zero, we're gonna maintain this position for 90 seconds. That 90 seconds is going to allow the muscle spindles, uh, uh, the muscle spindle and gamma neurons of the muscle spindle to be reset. 90 seconds has passed. Once 90 seconds has passed, I'm going to uh, very importantly now slowly and passively return my patient back to neutral. So um, I'm going to be moving you back to your normal position. Do your best to really relax and not help me at all. Okay, I'm gonna do all the work. So now I bring her slowly back into that neutral position to prevent the muscle spindles from firing again. And once I reach that neutral position, I'm gonna compare again to my original pain scale. What is that pain now as compared to the 10 that we talked about before? Zero. Great, and, we're, and that serves as our uh, reassessment of the tender point tenderness. If we were going to treat the medial hamstring, we would do the same procedure, but considering the medial hamstring attachments and um, its tender points, which would be on the medial aspect of the thigh. And we would, uh, instead of flexion, abduction, and external rotation, we would employ flexion, adduction, and internal rotation of the tibia. And then we'd hold for 90 seconds and uh, follow the uh, um, follow our established kind of strain procedure.